Hello friends, welcome to Quick Learn Tutorial Series. In this video, I will explain you Class B Commutation of SCR. This is lecture number 45 of Power Electronics Series. So let's start with the topic. Before I discuss the Class B Commutation, first we know about what do you mean by commutation. Commutation is the process of turning off the device. If we talking about the SCR commutation, the turn off procedure of SCR is known as thyristor commutation or SCR commutation. So class B commutation is a type of force commutation. Class B commutation is also called resonant pulse commutation because here we use inductor or capacitor in series that will make a resonant circuit. This resonant circuit will generate resonant pulse that turn off the SCR. That is why it is called resonant pulse commutation. Here I mention in this technique thyristor or SCR is turned off by built up resonant current or resonant pulse produced by the resonant circuit in reverse direction of SCR. So SCR get turned off. So that is why this technique is called resonant pulse commutation. This technique is also known as current commutation because here the resonant circuit will produce a resonant current that will turn off the SCR. That is why it is called current commutation also. Current commutation is occur in DC circuit, not in AC circuit. Hello friends, welcome to Quick Learn website and I am very excited to inform you that in Quick Learn I have recently launched my website that is www.quick-learn.in This website is especially for all the engineering and diploma students and those students who will preparing for competitive exams. Now the circuit diagram of class B commutation. This is the circuit diagram of class B commutation. Here we use VS supply voltage at the input side. Here we use two thyristor T1 and TA. T1 is the main thyristor and TA is the auxiliary thyristor. Here we use a resonant circuit. It means here we connect inductor or capacitor in series that will make a resonant circuit. This circuit will generate a resonant current that will turn off the main thyristor. That is why it is called resonant pulse commutation. Now here we also use diode D and a load. So this is the circuit diagram of class B commutation. Now before I explain the working of class B commutation, here we are having some assumption. So first assumption is load current is constant. Second assumption, LC circuit is resonating in nature. And the third assumption is we assume that Initially, capacitor is charged with Vs voltage. Okay, so to understand the operation of class B commutation, these three assumptions we have to make. Now the operation of class B commutation. So to understand the operation of class B commutation, I divide the whole operation into several steps. So the first step is initially we assume that both the thyristor T1 and TA is turned off and they behave like a open circuit. So current flow from supply voltage, LC circuit, diode, load and back to the supply voltage. It means current follow this path. When current flow in this direction, capacitor is charged slowly with Vs voltage. Once capacitor having voltage equals to Vs, the polarity across capacitor is this plate is positive and this plate is negative. Due to this negative polarity of capacitor, the diode D is reverse bias and behave like a open switch. This time capacitor do not have any path to discharge. So capacitor this time will hold plus Vs voltage. Now we give gate triggering pulse to thyristor T1 and T1 get turned on and behave like a short circuit. This time current flow from supply voltage, T1 thyristor, load and back to the supply voltage. It means current follow this path. After that, we give a triggering pulse to thyristor TA and TA get turned on. Now when TA get turned on, it behave like a short circuit. Capacitor get path to discharge in this direction. This time T1 is already turned on. We give firing pulse to TA thyristor. TA thyristor is turned on or behave like a short circuit. Capacitor get path to discharge in this direction. 
in this time duration when capacitor start discharging in this direction the inductor will charge with polarity this terminal is positive and this terminal is negative it means capacitor deliver its charge to inductor and when capacitor voltage is equals to zero inductor is fully charged and we know that the property of inductor when inductor get fully charged it start discharging and when inductor start discharging it change its polarity now inductor change its polarity this terminal is positive and this is negative and deliver energy to the capacitor so this time capacitor again start charging from zero voltage to minus vs voltage and this terminal is this plate of capacitor is positive and this plate of capacitor become negative so here capacitor is slowly slowly charged with this polarity after some time capacitor having polarity this plate is positive this plate is negative and capacitor charged with minus vs voltage when capacitor charged with this polarity due to this positive plate of capacitor diode d is forward bias and behave like a short circuit and due to this negative plate of capacitor ta thyristor is turned off and behave like a open circuit now capacitor again start discharging capacitor get this path to discharge from inductor diode and t1 thyristor if we consider the current across the thyristor t1 at this time instant is t0 and if capacitor current is also equals to t0 so the difference between these two current is equals to 0 so this time current across thyristor t1 is 0 that will make turn off the t1 thyristor and t1 thyristor is turned off so when t1 thyristor is turned off it behave like a open switch ta is already behave like a open switch it is already turned off due to the capacitor polarity so after that capacitor again charge from vs supply voltage and the polarity across capacitor again this plate is positive and negative this plate is negative and the voltage across capacitor is plus vs it means that again we come at the initial condition it means in step 1 both conditions are same so this is the whole operation of class b commutation circuit now we draw the waveform of class b commutation so here we see this is the circuit diagram and this is the waveform here ig1 is the gate current for thyristor t1 iga is the gate current for thyristor ta I not is the output current waveform. I T one is the current across T one main thyristor T one. I C is the current across capacitor or capacitor current. V C is the capacitor voltage. Now to better understanding the operation of class B commutation, I will divide the whole operation into four mode. This is mode one, mode two, mode three, and mode four. Now we start draw the waveform. In mode one. 0 to t1 time instant we give a gate triggering pulse to thyristor t1 and t1 get turn on when t1 get turn on it behave like a short circuit this time current flow from supply voltage t1 thyristor load back to the supply voltage it means current follow this path so we first we draw the output current waveform output current is equals to the supply current So the magnitude of output current is equals to I no full current supply current appear across the load. What about the current across T1 thyristor? So I T1 is also equals to I no. So this time current across capacitor is I C equals to zero because here we see the whole current flow in this direction toward T1 thyristor. No current will flow from capacitor. So this time capacitor current is equals to zero. So here we draw the IC current waveform zero. Now the voltage across capacitor is we assume that capacitor is initially charged with VS supply voltage. The magnitude of VC is equals to plus VS. Now at mode two, mode two is started from time instant T1. We give triggering pulse to thyristor TA. So when we give triggering pulse to thyristor TA, TA get turn on and behave like a short circuit. This time T1 already turn on 
and current flow in this direction okay so first we draw the waveform of i not in second mode i not current output current is equals to i not constant we already assume that the output current is constant current across t1 thyristor t1 is already turned on in mode second so current across t1 is equal to i not what about current across capacitor and voltage across capacitor so here when we turn on ta thyristor ta thyristor is behave like a short circuit in this time instant capacitor having path to discharge and capacitor start discharging in this direction when capacitor start discharging in this direction inductor will slowly slowly charge with capacitor energy and the polarity across inductor is this terminal is positive and this terminal is negative so here we see in the uh, waveform capacitor start discharging in this time duration capacitor release its energy at this time instant capacitor completely discharge and releases its energy this current is called maximum current across capacitor this current is given by ic is equals to minus im sin omega t or im is equals to ic equals to minus vs root c by l sin omega t okay this is the magnitude of ic current at this time instant at this time instant voltage across capacitor is also reducing slowly and at this time when ic equal to im capacitor voltage is equals to zero when capacitor voltage become zero inductor deliver is energy to the capacitor and capacitor again charge with minus vs voltage because we know that induct when inductor release its energy it changes polarity so now inductor release its energy and the polarity across inductor is this terminal is positive and this terminal is negative so when inductor deliver its energy to capacitor capacitor charge with minus vs voltage so here we see capacitor slowly slowly charge with minus vs voltage at time instant t2 capacitor is completely charged with minus vs voltage at the last of mode 2 capacitor voltage is equals to minus vs and capacitor current is zero now at mode 3 at mode 3 at time instant t2 here we see capacitor is fully charged with minus vs voltage okay here we see in the waveform at t2 time instant capacitor is fully charged with minus vs voltage so the polarity across capacitor is this plate is negative and this plate is positive this positive plate make diode d forward bias and diode is behave like a short circuit this time this negative plate make ta thyristor reverse bias and ta thyristor be is behave like a open circuit this time so this time ta thyristor not conducting and d diode is start conducting this time capacitor release its energy in this direction through inductor diode and t1 thyristor we assume that t1 thyristor initially having i not current and capacitor also release its energy slowly slowly when capacitor current become equal to i not current so i not minus i not total current across t1 thyristor is zero when current across t1 thyristor is zero thyristor is turn off and behave like a open switch so here in mode 3 the output current is equals to i not here we see in the waveform t1 current slowly slowly decrease and at time instant t3 it become zero when current across t1 thyristor become zero t1 thyristor get turn off now current across capacitor start rising toward i not this time some voltage at mode 4 mode 4 is started from t3 time instant so at t3 time instant t1 thyristor is not working ta thyristor is also not working so current flow in this direction from supply voltage capacitor inductor d diode and load back to the supply voltage when current flow in this direction capacitor again charge with vs supply voltage and that will make capacitor polarity left plate is positive and right plate is negative so here 
In this mode, capacitor again slowly, slowly charged with plus V S voltage, and capacitor current is also equals to I naught because capacitor is directly connected from supply voltage, so all current flow through the capacitor this time. This time, T one thyristor current is zero because T one is not working. T one is turned off, and output current is equals to I naught. So this is the whole operation of class B commutation. Hope you like the video. For more interesting video, please like, subscribe, and share my channel. For notes, please visit my website www.quick-learn.in.